Welcome to Story Time with Miss LaPerry. Today's story is City Shapes, written by Diana Murray, illustrated by Brian Collier. A pigeon takes flight through the bright cityscape, exploring the scenery, shape after shape. The city is bursting with shapes of each kind, and if you look closely, who knows what you'll find? A truck rumbling by to deliver the mail. A silvery cart with hot pretzels for sale. And stacks of brown packages hauled up the stairs. Some shapes in the city are on-the-go squares. A skyscraper covered in shimmering glass. A long metal bench near a green patch of grass. And a table with glittery scarves and gold bangles. Some shapes in the city are dazzling rectangles. The seaport with all of its flowing white sails, and there in the market, the pointy fish tails, and colorful flags on a banner that dangles. Some shapes in the city are gleaming triangles. The sunglasses worn by a cop on his beat, the wheels of the taxis that zip down the street, and a manhole that leads to the pipes underground. Some shapes in the city are circles so round. At sunset, the city is softly aglow, as chick chatting crowds hustle bustle below, when off in the distance a melody hums. It's hard not to follow the sound of the drums. The stage in the park where the instruments sing, some shapes in the city are ovals that swing. And nearby the kites seem to dance in the sky. Some shapes in the city are diamonds that fly. The sun fades away into hazy blue dark, and soon there's a twinkle, a glimmer, a spark. Scattered up high above buildings and cars, some shapes in the city are faraway stars. The pigeon flies back through the night cityscape as city lights sparkle, shape after shape. But her heart starts to ache for the shape she loves best, the shape that is home, her warm circle nest, where the whirring and beeping and cars rushing by helps her fall fast asleep like a sweet lullaby. The end. Thanks for reading along with me today. Remember to subscribe below to hear more stories. Have the best day and remember to keep reading.